Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's episode where we are doing a full day of eating. I usually try to do these about once a week at least just to give you guys a really good idea of what I'm going to be eating for the week, essentially. This is meal two. Meal one was two scoops of oatmeal chocolate chip MRE Lite from Redcon 1 and one whole banana. This is meal two. Meal two, I've already had four carrots. We're gonna have one whole orange. And some of you didn't get what I was saying yesterday about the whole oranges thing, but I'm talking about this here, okay? Don't pick oranges with a big disgusting hole on them that looks like it has hemorrhoids or something like that, okay? You wanna pick your oranges and they have a nice, tight hole. Got it? Good. So one whole orange, and then I'm going to eat this meal of two whole eggs, five ounces of plank steak, one whole green pepper, and four ounces of chicken bone broth, chicken stock, whatever you want to call it, 110 grams of instant rice. And I use instant rice because it's super easy to digest. Way easier to digest than brown rice or red rice or whatever rice you want to pick. And it doesn't have any nutrients in it because that's the way we like it. So I'd rather do it a different way. You go ahead and do it your way. But this is the vertical diet way. And I believe it works. Remember when you get done cooking to clean up your mess? Cutting oranges gets their juice everywhere. Cutting up a green pepper gets its juice everywhere. And you don't want that shit to be sitting on your counters all day because that's disgusting. We are not bachelors anymore, guys. We have to keep our place clean <clears throat> so that our significant other stays happy. All right, guys, that's meal two. We're gonna eat this now. Isn't that a lovely, lovely view? Lovely view, I know. Sick angles I've got going on here. That is good shit. All right, I'll see you guys for whatever comes next. All right guys, it's time for me to go to work. It's about 11, how much? Well, 10.30, 10.36. I'm gonna get four ounces of cranberry juice into my cup here, I'm gonna weigh this out and then I'm gonna fill my cup with water. So one reason I'm doing this is so that I have a steady supply, a steady supply of carbs coming in so that my blood sugar doesn't crash because I did use 25 IUs of Lantus this morning. So I use Lantus on days that I want to bring up some weak points in my uh, on my body, which include my arms, um, my legs, and my back. My back thickness, for the most part. So basically, I take Lantus about three to four days a week, depending on how I feel and depending on how the day is going to pan out. Um, on most days that I know I can be in complete control of my food and know exactly what I'll be able to eat, I'll use Lantus. I didn't use Lantus all weekend because I didn't know when I was gonna be eating. I didn't know, you know, the timing of my food. So I didn't because it just wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be smart to do. But because I know when I'm gonna be eating, the whole day's planned out, I know it'll be safe for me to do this. But every once in a while between meals, if I go do something and I don't have any sort of like carbs, I can go slightly hypoglycemic and I'll feel that and it'll affect me and it can kind of ruin a day. So to prevent that, I'm gonna be using my cranberry juice now. I'm gonna sip on this through the next hour because this actually goes with my noon meal. So I'm gonna start on it now just to help prevent me from going hypo so that I have a good day. So I'm gonna have this now, I'm gonna have another meal, at, I'm gonna have my meal at noon that goes with this. And then uh, I'm gonna take my pre-workout, go work out, 
do arms, and then I've got a client to train at three. Then I'll eat at four, and then eat at six, and then at nine. So that's the game plan. That's what I'm doing here. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that and clarify it for you so you knew what was going on. So, all right, guys, I will see you for meal three when I get back at noon. pre-workout shake as usual we've got one scoop of big noise you've probably heard me say this before but for any of you that are new big noise is a glycerol product it's a pump product it has no stimulants in it so if you are a stim free kind of person this is the pre-workout for you it does have a focusing agent in hooperzine a uh, it also contains Beetroot extract that helps with blood flow, agmantine sulfate, and CDP choline. So this is a great pump product, glycerol, that's what's up. So we get one scoop of this, but because I'm not stimulant free, we add one scoop of Total War. Total War is a stimulant pre-workout. It doesn't contain any glycerol though, that's why it stacks very well with big noise. So Total War has six grams of citrulline malate, 3.2 grams of beta alanine, uh, one gram of agmantine sulfate, one gram of taurine, and then it has 250 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous. And then it also has 100 milligrams of dicaffeine malate. So um, yeah, if you add up all the stimulant that is in this, it's actually about 350 milligrams worth. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a good product. It has just enough stimulant for me. It really does help kind of get me going for the gym. So definitely approve of Total War. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sodium to that. If you want to try any of these products, use the link down in the description box below. It'll take you over to Redcon 1. Dot com. You can use my code T20ChaseI to get yourself 20% off, which gives me credit for the sale. So that's what's up. I'm going to drink this, and then I'll show you what my intro workout shake looks like. All right, guys. Pre-workout is done. Intro workout <clears throat> we're going to put together now. So I like to put pomegranate juice as the first liquid that I use. Pomegranate juice at four ounces a day will reduce plaque buildup in your arteries. Very good decision to include this on a daily basis. Four ounces, that's all you need, guys. This little bottle will last eight days. All right, and then for intra, Workout, we've got Breach, one scoop of Breach. This is a BCAA powder, but it is also a hydration powder in that it has coconut water powder in it. And it also has one gram of taurine and one gram of glycerol. So it's kind of like a mini pump product as well. But yeah, hydrating powder, very good for that. Not your standard BCAA. Next, I've got Tango. We're gonna put in one scoop of Tango. Tango is our creatine product. It has five grams of creatine monohydrate, one gram of creatine HCL, and one gram of creatine magna power, plus one gram of taurine. Great, great creatine product. Grunt, Grunt is an EAA powder. Essential amino acids. We're just gonna get one scoop of that. And this just contains all the essential amino acids. Nothing, uh, nothing out of the norm here. EAA powder. And I mean, the reason for using those, the reason for using an EAA powder or BCAA, it's like getting the benefits of having protein, fast digesting amino acids that when paired up with your creatine, when paired up with 
carbohydrates, which is what this is. The amino acids get carried to the muscle with your creatine, with your carbohydrate source. By the way, this is cluster bomb. This is a cyclic dextrose, which is just a very fast digesting carbohydrate. And yes, I am doing two scoops of this. And then to top it off, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt and water. And the reason, like there, there's a benefit to using all of these products at once, guys. I mean, the thing is, is when you take a regular dextrose powder, it will digest at, say, one gram of carbohydrate per minute. When you add another source of carbs to that, so like the juice is fructose, that's different than dextrose. When you have two different carbohydrate sources like that, then the digestion, the absorption rate increases to about two grams of carbs absorbed per minute. When you add sodium to the mix, it increases it again to about three grams of carbs per minute. When you add caffeine to the mix, which is what was in Total War, when you add caffeine to the mix, now you're absorbing about four grams of carbs per minute. Okay, so that's just gonna make this digest like super fast, which is why you don't want to drink it all in one big gulp because it'll be digested in 10 minutes basically. Because there's about 50 plus my juice, there's about 65 grams of carbs in this drink. If it's absorbing at four grams of carbs per minute, I'm gonna go through it in about 10, about 15 to 20 minutes you know, if I just chug the whole thing. But just sipping on it throughout my workout, it's just gonna be constantly, immediately supplying, fast digesting, no gastric issue carbs into my workout as I lift. So that's the reason for the big mixture of stuff. When your carbs are digesting fast, your creatine, your amino acids, they get pulled with the carbs to the muscle. That's why we use it all. That's why it's all in there. And the fact that I used Lantus this morning, like I said earlier, it's just gonna help it that much more. Lantus is gonna help pull that sugar out of the blood even quicker. So that's what's going on. That's why it's necessary if you're gonna be using any sort of insulin product, you must have intra-workout carbs. You must have carbs throughout the whole day, especially if you're using Lantus, to prevent going hypoglycemic. So. That's what's up, guys. All right, I'm going to head to the gym now. We're going to be sipping on this all workout. And then I've got a client to train at 3. So I will see you guys when I get back here for meal 4 at about 4.30. this far and you're not subscribed 
please subscribe now. There's something like 60% of my views are from people that are unsubscribed. So yeah, just go ahead and subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video because I upload videos Monday through Friday. Every single day, I take the weekends off. Five videos a week. If you like this video, if you like what I do, subscribe. Remember, leave a thumbs up, like the video. Remember, remember, leave a thumbs up, like the video. Don't forget. So this is meal five. We've got spinach, we've got beef, we've got eggs, all the usual good stuff coming at you. Alright guys, we are putting together meal six now, and for most of you that have seen these videos before, you know how it ends. I like to do a bowl of oatmeal with one scoop of MRE light with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of ground flaxseed, and frozen blueberries with Greek yogurt. <clears throat> but today, we're gonna change it up just a little bit in the flavor of protein powder. We're gonna change it up just a little bit with the flavor of protein powder we use. I did just get in blueberry cobbler from Redcon 1 the other day. Haven't tried it yet, but have heard really good things about it. So we are going to crack this open now and give it a shot. It smells good. <laughs> All right guys, here it is, last meal of the day. This is meal six, blueberry cobbler, MRE light, oatmeal thing. Let's see how this tastes. That's a good change. Like I liked oatmeal chocolate chip, but this is, uh, it just fits better with this whole mixture, you know? All right guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. I hope you learned something from it. Remember, Nobody cares. Train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow.